All right, before we dive into this clip from my live stream, here's just a little bit of a backstory. A longtime viewer from my Twitch days stopped by to ask about this game I've been playing, Ashes of Creation. I explained how Ashes of Creation first caught my attention back during the Kickstarter in like 2018 or 2017. I don't know, a long time ago. The promises of a, a dynamic world shaped by players and, and the node system, meaningful progression, the player agency, community-driven gameplay. Those were all the things I ever wanted in an MMO. Why I backed it, why I've been testing it, and why I'm so excited to share more about it today. Let's roll the clip. What up, dude? I don't know. How am I doing? I am doing well. Long time since I've run into you on Twitch. True. Because I've decided to start using it again. And I've been waiting for this game for so damn long, bro. Waiting for this game for like five years. Finally getting to play. It's fun. Yeah, don't even know it. So this is Ashes of Creation. If you haven't heard of Ashes of Creation at all. <laughs> but you should look it up. If you really want to hear somebody. <laughs> if you really want to hear somebody explain it. Well. You should look it up, but I'll do my best because uh, I'm not going to leave you hanging, man. But this is Ashes of Creation. It's, a, it's an upcoming game. It's not released. This is the alpha, actually, that I've gotten. I got access to it years and years ago. What the? Hello? Sir. Look. All right, we're good. Uh, you think you've seen tra trailers from a while ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the MMO in the new Unreal Engine. Yes, it is in Unreal 5. Uh, back when I was playing Classic WoW, back in the day, uh, I, I I had already bought into the Kickstarter for this game back then. Okay, so about the game. About the game. Uh, the best part about the game, I think, I'm in a node, if you look up here in the upper right, I'm in a node called New Ayla. Uh, that's where I am. Uh, there's no fast travel in this game. Do they know about Mancrick? Oh my god. I bet they do. You know you know what, dude? Did you play EverQuest back in the day? Because I saw a mob, and his name was like Fippy Mudpaw or something, right? And, uh, was it? I don't know if it was a Cobalt, necessarily. I can't remember. Okay, so I'm in New Ayla. The best part about the game, and in my opinion, is, uh, it's this. It's these nodes. Like, this is where I am. I'm in New Ayla. This is me. These are... Uh... Plots, I would call them, right? Plots in the node. This is a stoneworks. So, some of these... Some of these are... They're gonna be in every node, basically. Probably. Like the caravansary. Caravansary, which is a new word for me. And fun to say. Caravansary. This is where you get your caravan. And caravanning is a big part. Uh, I was getting into that. There's no fast travel. And so, in order to... In order to... And crafting is a big deal. Uh, crafters are going to make some of the... Some of the best stuff in the game. If not the best stuff in the game. Will be made by crafters. Crafters are going to require material. There is no fast travel. Material takes up massive amounts of things. Uh, space. Think... Uh, Eve, I guess, in terms of transporting goods from node area, because nodes have things, right? Hunting lodge, caravansary, uh, you can, players build things, I'll get into that, but stoneworks, wood shop, us players built this, by the way, us players went out into the world, chopped down trees, mined stones, captured horses, uh, Cut down, we cut flowers. You know, we did all the things. And we built these buildings in New Ayla. Now, this is a node. This is, this is the node I live in. I'm a, currently, I am currently a citizen of New Ayla. I get to vote for my mayor. I get to vote for my mayor. Uh, and this is a node. Now, right over here, a little ways away, is another node. Look at that. This one's a different node. Jova. And, uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little more. We got another node right up here. We got Halcyon. Which, by the way, I want to point out, it says Halcyon Village Divine there. It says Village Divine. And then we have Jova, we have Village Scientific. Okay. 
And we also have New Ayla Village Economic. Now, New Ayla is the name of the node, which is a geographic area. You can see there's borders, okay? And this node is currently at a village level, as all of the nodes are, because that's where we are at in the alpha. We're not doing... On December 20th, we're going to do more node progression. And this node is a centered around an economic type of development. Okay, so we are an economic node, a village named New Ayla. Uh, we have a scientific node, a village named Jova, with its area. Okay. We have Halcyon, a village which is divine, with its area. Okay. Over here we have Winstead, a village which is martial, a martial state. Uh, and down here we have Miraleth, a village which is scientific. Okay. So now in each one of these nodes, there might be things. Now, over here in Miraleth, which is what I'm looking at, they built a smithy. And we don't have a smithy in New Ayla. We have other stuff. Uh, they built a laboratory. We don't have a laboratory in New Ayla. We don't have that. So now, if I want to use this laboratory, I got I to gotta ride over here. Now, hold on. Pretty far. I'm down here. I need to get over here to use that laboratory. Now, there, there might be a laboratory here or here or here. I don't know. But you got to go somewhere if you want to use these. Things. And uh, these these things are used for crafting. And crafters, as I said, make the best things in the game. And, and there you go. So that and, and it takes resources. Uh, this this itself, this area is the Riverlands, uh, which will have resources that are going to be different from this area down here, which isn't complete, not nearly. Which will be the desert. And the desert's going to have resources that are going to be different from this area up here, which is the, the tropics, which isn't quite in the game. We, we focus on Riverlands. This is our major playtest area. And these nodes, to me, are what make the game super cool and unique. So, that's kind of my basic explanation. Uh, let me see what you said. Now. I, saw you, I saw you saying stuff. So if you run into a city... It's going to be even more impressive. Oh, yeah. Then these nodes are like level two. Yeah. On December 20th, we're going to do level three. I think. I don't I don't know exactly. I don't. Look, I'm not a strong reader. <laughs> you've, you've watched my streams. Uh, so we're 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 going to we're going to do no, more node progression, though, in, in later phases. And the nodes will progress up to level five, I think. And it, it's like a megalopolis. They're huge. They're big cities. I mean, there's going to, and there's going to be more plots around and, uh, you know, running the city. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when the nerd, when the nodes are full, you just get a new server. I don't, I don't know. How, look, that's, that's what we're testing right now. We're working server stability and stuff at this point. That's kind of, we're doing general kind of gaming and general server stability and general, just general stability of, what is this like so that's kind of the, the test more or less you can kind of do what you want there's nothing really directed at this point other than you know go out and do stuff because they want to test stability and they and they've added more and more players over the last couple of weeks and stuff like that and there's these little events around and things there's there's these points of interest there's these these are like these are like ember this is where you respawn these are respawn points basically that you'll set up or you'll have a home point so you can have two uh, but you can't fast travel to any of these. These aren't fast travel points. If you want to get there, ride your wolf. You know, ride it there. Uh, or caravan there. Caravan is how you're going to transport goods. And that's how you're going to make money. I've made a bunch of gold doing uh, transports. It's been super fun. So, And honestly, this game's not a game. The alpha, and during the alpha, I've had a ton of fun, though. Just kind of... You know, I play, I more or less play solo. I, I did get in a group a time or two at lower levels. It was a lot of fun too. A lot of people are having a lot of fun in groups. Um, Crix, if you remember Crix from Hardcore Days, he's been playing a ton of Ashes of Creation, uh, has a lot to say about it for sure, and uh, knows a ton, dude. <laughs> and, there's, and there's plenty of other people that know a ton more than me, obviously. Like I said, I'm not a strong reader. How do I get in? Oh, you... Well, you could get in on the, uh, you could get in, but it's, it's very expensive for one. 
And it's an alpha. I mean, we're testing if that's what you want to do. And maybe you do. Yeah, he was a warlock. Yep. Um, you could go to the website, though. It's like 120 bucks, though, dude. And and, and honestly, it is, it is a test. It's only up on the weekends right now. Uh, I had a computer, and I like gaming, and I love MMOs. That's all I knew. And I was like, and I read kind of the basic concepts, maybe not even as much as I had explained to you just 10 minutes ago. I didn't even know that much about the game. I just, I'd heard about this, this cool node stuff and it was an MMO and, and it was, and it was going to be old school, you know, I'm like no fast travel. I think I remember hearing and stuff and like, and very craft heavy. And I, and I heard like some of the stuff and I was like, wow, that sounds cool. And I had disposable money. And so I bought, and you know, the one thing, and there, here's the one, here's the one thing. It was, I don't ever, it was, it's because it's going to be a sub game, right? A, a, a monthly subscription model was the promise, whether this changes or not. You know how fucking games be and companies get. But the promise made was that this is a, this is a subscription model and, and the only store things would be uh, cosmetic. So no, no cash shop fucking weapons uh or battle passes or anything like that like none of those things and uh an old school game no cash shop like and i was like all right i got disposable money and and, and i was told i would get a lifetime subscription i would never have to pay the sub fee if i bought this kickstarter and and so that was the thing the no sub fee forever and I thought well, as long as the game succeeds for a couple of years I get my money back like 15 bucks a month is the model and I'm like well 15 bucks a month over the course of you know several years is several hundred dollars like, I get my money back I'm like there we go so on top of all the other cool things I get name reservation a guild name reservation a royalty it, clothing, whatever, caravan, it, cosmetic accessories, blah, 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 mounts and shit, you know, like cosmetic mounts and stuff. I, I get nothing game changing, nothing pay to win did I get by buying the Kickstarter. Uh, other than not, I, I don't have to buy a subscription. I mean, I have all the time in the world. As long as the game succeeds. As long as, you know, if the game lasts 10 years, then I've definitely made my money back easily. And, and, and I've got 10 years of fun, you know? No, this isn't the name I, this is not the name I reserved at all. This is, <laughs> that is, you know what? I, that was a random, I just started saying and while I typed. Literally saying as I typed, I'm like, you, you, do, 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 do. I'm like, that's the name. There we go. I'll make a fighter. Let's go. I just want to play the game. I think I might even went with the default skin. Like, I didn't even change the dude's face. And I'm like, yeah, log in. Let's go. I want to fight. <laughs> you, little turb. And, uh, you, little turb's awesome. Fighters are cool. Fucking wants to troll me. Which is hilarious. They want to spend a hundred dollars to troll. That's funny. I don't know if everybody gets a name reservation either. Did that? So like a goblin just runs up here into the city and throws a booger at me, and then a guard. Okay. I'm getting hungry. Wait, didn't I eat some? Oh yeah, I had an English muffin with peanut butter. And then I gave some to a squirrel. Oh, you remember the squirrels. Squirrels that chill outside my house. All right, brother. Thank you for stopping by, man. We'll see you around. I'm going to be streaming more uh, on Twitch. I know everybody hates Twitch, but you don't have to watch if you don't want, I guess. But thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We'll see you. Have a good dinner. What am I going to do? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, want to keep the conversation going? Join the Discord to chat with me in the community.
and watch me live on Twitch where we dive even deeper into Ashes of Creation. Links are in the description. See you next time.